Here's an example of how to use bar models to solve word problems. Claire loves animals. She has three times as many goldfish as she has chickens. She has four more hamsters than chickens. Altogether, she has 49 animals, just goldfish, hamsters, and chickens. How many more goldfish does she have than hamsters? So, let's take a look at this problem. I always like to start by just sort of looking at what the situation is without necessarily worrying about the numbers. Claire loves animals. She has some goldfish. She has some hamsters. She has some chickens. Altogether, we're told how many animals she has, and we'd like to know how many more goldfish than hamsters. What's the difference between the number of goldfish and the number of hamsters? All right. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about goldfish so goldfish we're talking about hamsters and we're talking about chickens I always like to start by giving each of these a one unit bar. We may need to adjust that as we go through the problem, but we know that we've got three of those things. Each of them gets just one bar. All right, so now let's look in more detail of what we've got going on. She has three times as many goldfish as she has chickens. So there's the goldfish, there's the chickens. Right now, the bar model shows that she has the same number of goldfish as chickens. Three times as many goldfish would mean that I would want to have three times as many bars, or three times as many units. So three units for one unit. So we can check that off. She has four more hamsters than chickens. So hamsters, chickens, She's got to have four more, so I'll show that by adding. So now we've taken care of this, that she has four more hamsters than chickens. Altogether, she has 49 animals, just goldfish, hamsters, and chickens. So that means all three of these together give us a total of 49. All right, well, I have five equal units and four extra, and that equals 49. I could divide by five, but I would have to have, I need to know the amount that just those five units by themselves represent. So I'm going to take away the four, 49 minus four gives me 45, and then 45 would be the amount it's, that are in just, let's see, get this, just in these five units by themselves. So just those five. So I can go ahead and take 45 and divide it by five. It gives me nine. So each of these bars then is worth nine animals. Okay. So we've used that and figured out what each of our units is. Now let's take a look at the question. How many more goldfish does she have than hamsters? So you notice that what I did was I got all the information filled in first, and now I can go back and answer the question. There might be a lot of different questions we would ask, and uh, we could use the bar model to answer any of them. How many more goldfish does she have than hamsters? Well, how many goldfish does she have? Goldfish, we'll make the goldfish gold. So the goldfish is going to be 27, 3 times 9. And then the hamsters are going to be plus 4, 13. And if we subtract that, we get 14. So she has 14 more goldfish. What did Tarzan say when he saw the elephants coming over the hill? Hey, look, here come the elephants over the hill. 
What did Tarzan say when he saw the elephants coming over the hill wearing sunglasses? He didn't say anything. He didn't recognize them.